Advent is a continuous reminder that God will work miracles to bring his promises to completion and our worthy hopes to completion. Advent also proclaims its faith in human nature. God acts miraculously within the sequence of normal human activity. Even when the situation seems hopeless, we must never forsake hope, but continue along our day-to-day -day life, confident in God and in our human existence. John the Baptist is a great Advent figure, and he's one of the great examples of God's faith in human nature. He gives his parents, the barren couple Elizabeth and Zechariah, the miracle of pregnancy. And then he gives John the great responsibility of proclaiming the coming of the Lord. These are very, very important parts of our salvation history left to the design and the faith of human beings. God has entered into a relationship with us because God loves us as we are. God is not looking for us to change or to become perfect or to be superhuman. God loves us because of our humanness. And it is in our humanity that God works for the world. We have to learn to have faith in our human nature just as God does. And not only does God have faith in our human nature, God depends on our human nature. God depends on us to bring about the plan of salvation. God did not act outside of the human experience, but right in the midst of it. And that's probably the greatest part of our salvation story. And not only did God choose human beings, but God chose the most unlikely human beings to help bring about salvation. A poor virgin maiden, an old barren couple, and one who was considered mad, John the Baptist. This should be a great comfort to us, sisters and brothers. It should give us comfort because it shows us that God cares for every one of us. It also shows us that any one of us can be called upon at any time to proclaim the presence of the Lord. God works miracles, and that work has not ended. So pay attention to what you're called to do. What you're called to do. Do you wonder how you might proclaim the presence of the Lord? Well, if John the Baptist were preaching today, he might say to you and me and all of us that as we run in and out of stores shopping for Christmas, keep in mind that God is present there too. And if you have trouble seeing God in the lines of shoppers and blinking lights, well, then maybe you're the one who's supposed to show the face of God to the people around you. He might tell us that in all the spending you do, don't forget about those who have nothing to spend and little reason to celebrate their humanity. And he might say to us, as you go about the everydayness of your lives during this season and well beyond this season, remember that above all else, you are called to transform the world by being compassionate, by loving, by forgiving, and by welcoming. We are called to transform the world by proclaiming the presence of God and by being merciful. May the Lord give you peace.